Hello everyone, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm trying to make public the indoctrination that's been going on on our children, the psychological war that we are in right now. Our children are being targeted. Imagine being a child right now, growing up in a society where the media is constantly telling you that men can get pregnant, that men can get pregnant, that there's more than two genders, that it's okay for biological men to trump biological women's rights and compete against biological women in biological women-only competitions. These children are also being conditioned that masks are a good thing, that masks are going to keep them safe. They're being conditioned to fear breathing fresh air and being scared of their friends and their neighbor. Can you even imagine once they get older, they're gonna be so used to masks, it's gonna be a part of everyday life. It's gonna be so much easier to enslave an American population if children are conditioned that acts that take their rights away is a good thing. That safety is better than freedom. These kids are going to grow up and become adults. And these adults are going to police each other. They're gonna be quick to putting a face covering over their face in the name of safety. They're going to think men can get pregnant, that there's more than two genders, and that women's rights don't matter so long as a biological man says so. And this brings me to what I want to show you. A new emoji is going to be surfacing on our iPhones of a pregnant man. So many people in my life think, Cece, why do you care? I've even had someone closest to me say, you care too much. Go for a hike. Go to a concert. Take it easy. Let it go. Well, those people don't understand that we dictate the future of this country. Those people don't get it yet. And once they get it, then they'll understand and they won't be so quick to tell me to turn my brain off. This is serious. This emoji is going to be on every single iPhone of a pregnant man. So tell your children that men cannot get pregnant. Tell your children that biological men cannot get pregnant. Tell your children that they have freedom over their own bodily autonomy. Tell your children that the government has no right to strip away their constitutional rights. Teach your children the Constitution. Teach your children the Declaration of Independence. Express the importance of constitutional rights and what keeps Americans free in the United States of America. It is our job as American adults to raise children to not be little communist soldiers but to raise them to make this country freer and greater than it already is today. They're not going to be able to do that if they are brainwashed and indoctrinated because that just leads to ultimate confusion. Men cannot get pregnant. Men cannot get pregnant. Men cannot get pregnant. There are only two genders. There are only two genders. Women have a sacred gift of pregnancy, a sacred gift to bear children. What I don't understand is how an adult can look at this emoji and just let it go right over their head as if it's just normal. Men can't get pregnant. So why would they have this emoji on smartphones? If you are a transgender woman, which means you were born a biological male and you are telling people you can get pregnant, you have mental health issues. You have mental health issues. You were born a biological male. You will never be able to get pregnant, ever. And if you wanna say, well, I'm gonna get a uterus implanted in me, biological women will not let you take a sacred right of bearing children away from them. You have mental health issues. If you're born a biological male, now a transgender woman, and you claim that you can get pregnant, you cannot get pregnant. Only biological females, women, can get pregnant. Children are a product of their environment. They're a product of their culture. So for example, in China, if you grew up in China when they had the policy of two boys and you couldn't give birth to a girl, that just becomes normal to you because it's part of your culture. Same with the Taliban enforcing women to have to wear a covering head to toe. That becomes normal to you because it's part of your culture. They're trying to instill face masks and face coverings as normal in America today. They are also 
steering away from truth and facts to purposely confuse the children. There's absolutely no reason that children should be brought up in a culture that is telling them that men can get pregnant, that there's emojis of pregnant men, that there are more than two genders. That's not true. And you're lying to yourself if you refuse to accept that there is a psychological war going on. It's not like evil people don't exist. We don't live in heaven. There are people on earth who are trying to brainwash the masses into little communist soldiers in order to divide and conquer and turn America communist. It sucks. It's hard to believe, but it's true. So looking at an emoji like this shouldn't just go over your head. It should wake you up to what's really going on because there's no reason, there's no reason that there should be an emoji of a pregnant man. So anyway, have some courage, believe in yourself, sit your children down, tell them that men cannot get pregnant, men cannot get pregnant, that there are only two genders, that biological men claiming to be women should not be able to trump the rights of biological women in women-only competitions or go into women-only restrooms or saunas. Raise your children right, they're your children. They're your children. Don't let the state mold them into little indoctrinated soldiers. As stressful as this is, because there's so much going on in different areas of society, it only takes 3.5% of the population to overthrow a tyrannical government. We are the 99%. There's a small group of elites who think that they control the rest of our lives, and they can't. Every day more and more people are waking up and every day more and more people understand the power that they have. And having children is a huge part of that power. So God bless America. Thank you guys for listening. Like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.